Hello traders, Gary Wagner here. Just before 11 o'clock in Honolulu, 5 o'clock in New York, it is Thursday, July 19th, 2018, and this is the Daily Report for Gold and Silver. Gold is trading lower on the day, but well off of the intraday lows when gold prices plunged to an intraday low of $1,210.70. That bases the August COMEX contract. It is currently at $1,222.60, off about $5.30. It was statements made by President Trump during a CNBC interview which tempered the rise of the U.S. dollar and also tempered the fall of gold. Silver also trading dramatically lower, currently down about 26 cents at $15.31. The dollar had been trading as high today as 95.44, but is now currently up only 15 points at 94.96. U.S. equities are trending lower today, a 134-point decline in the Dow, 25,064. Standard & Poor's also in decline mode off 11 points at 2,804. And the Nasdaq Composite down by about a third of a percent at 7,825. Traders Gold absolutely fell from grace today, plunging to a new low this year, trading at 12.10 when it was down the most. Currently, it is still down by about $5.40 at 12.22.50. We are short the August contract at 12.27 and short the October contract roughly at 12.32.60. Our stops are at 12.40 in August and 12.45 in October. My sense is this, although statements made by President Trump stopped the dramatic move today of the dollar and tempered the fall of gold, I believe that this is short-lived at best because the Federal Reserve and the central banks are independent of any political body in the United States, and as such, they will act in accordance to their current monetary policy. For that reason, I think we'll continue to see dollar strength and therefore we will see weakness in gold. My target to exit our current trade remains intact at approximately a 12.05. That would be basis the August contract and it is based on the lows achieved in July of last year. Of course, we quite effectively took out the lows of December of last year just the other day. Therefore, my recommendation is to maintain our current short position in gold and to maintain our current stop. We will look to lower our stop in the next 24 hours. And traders, as we have said for the last couple of months, gold pricing is contingent on U.S. dollar strength or weakness. It's been all about the dollar almost all the time. Today, the dollar index actually traded to the highest trading point this year, and that, of course, would correspond to gold going to the lowest trading point this year. It traded as high as 95.44 before backing off, currently at 94.99, and my sense is that we will see the dollar index break above 95. And traders, as far as silver is concerned, a massive decline today, losing about one and a half percent down about 25 cents at 15.33 my sense right now is it will go and challenge these lows that were achieved in july in the same way that i believe that gold will challenge the july lows and we effectively took out these lows just the other day that would be the lows that came in at the end of december Market is currently at 33, and I think it will trade as low as $15 per ounce. We are looking at a weekly chart, and we can clearly see that although there is still a full day left in trading, this week has resulted in a dramatic drawdown in gold pricing. We can also see the lows that came in in July on this weekly chart, and that is still my current target. I believe that that is achievable over the next couple of weeks if gold pricing continues to fall. And of course, that's going to be highly contingent upon dollar strength. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. 
We will talk to you tomorrow for the weekly wrap-up and review. Bye-bye.